Hey guys, what's up? It's the boy, Roshi is here. Today we're taking a look at uh, my Mind Link deck. Um, it's pretty solid. This version has a time-based market. Uh, we're looking to play out Mind Link, play a bunch of Transform cards, and uh, value out our opponents um, to that effect. I basically just typed transform in the search bar and just picked whatever I wanted. Uh, reshape being the best of them. So uh, reshape is two power, revenge, uh, transform a unit, a random enemy unit into a cost that's one more if it's uh, mine or one less if it's theirs. And if I have six time, which we have most of the, a good portion of the time we're able to get there fairly reasonably soon, uh, we can transform all of our units or all of their units. So if we have a mind link in play and we transform all of our opponent's units, it should fill our hand up quite nicely with a bunch of random stuff with mind link. So not only are we downgrading our opponent's board, but we are filling our hand while we do it. That's kind of the goal. So we'll take this little tempo loss the turn we play mind link and we'll turn around and just keep filling our hand up, which is great. So, Desert Alchemist, Plunder, you know, you know Desert Alchemist right now. But uh, one little package I wanted to show you is we are playing Feral Mandrake, which has Imbue, um, and comes back when we transform cards. Uh, that's important, we'll get to that later. Maveloft Huntress, Killer, Imbue, Summon, Plunder, uh, but another one of our Imbue cards. And the reason we're playing all this Imbue is when Donica comes into play, uh, I can imbue a unit, and when I imbue, I draw a card. So early on, I'll play out these Feral Mandrakes, and they'll die. Um, Donica will come down, imbue something, and all I have to do is transform a card, and all of our Feral Mandrakes will come back into play, and they'll imbue as well. And that'll draw me a whole bunch of cards, which is a nice fun little trick, uh, a way to get value and uh, advance our board at the same time. You can also just crush people with her Overwhelm, so that's what we're going for with that. Um, other two cards, we've got Trailmaker and Aurelian Merchant. This helps us get power and helps us hit that six time influence. Um, I'm trying out Root Ripper. It's been in here. Uh, it's kind of medium, but there really just isn't that much good transform in the format right now, so we'll take what we can get. Ozol, another transform card. Uh, at the time I was playing this, this was a new card, and I was excited to play with it, so um, we can transform opponent's stuff, but we can actually cash in our own things as well. So later on in the game, when you're kind of done with Mind Link, not sure that that's ever really the case, but if you really wanted to, you could transform your Mind Link into a 4-1 and start attacking. I don't know why that would ever be the case, but you can do that. Um, but also it's just really, really solid unit, uh, holds down the air, and uh, can hold down the ground too. And once you start hitting with it, you'll shuffle through all of your power and start fixing your draws. So I like Ozo a lot. Uh, expand the Reach also helps us get to that six time and uh, filter away any power we're drawing later on in the game. And help get us to the point where we can uh, really hold down the board. Um, with Fluctuate Reality, uh, this card is kind of like a more expensive reshape in a way that we can only do once, but when it happens, it's way more effective. So this is kind of why we have all that ramp going on, is we can ramp into massive Fluctuate Realities, and those can be game-breaking. Uh, other than that, Reign of Frogs, this card's hilarious with Mind Link. Uh, because the frogs you draw have Destiny, um, you'll actually draw a crap load of cards thanks to our Mind Link. This is one of my favorite combos that's been in the game for a while, and it's kind of cool to see that still uh, still around an Expedition. Uh, originally, I tried different markets. I found the Time Market to be my favorite impound for any sort of sling deck. Uh, also, just cheap ways to pop hourglasses or whatever if you want to. It's good in the, the mirror, I guess. If if you ever play against the mirror, you have impound. Uh, Swirl of Sands, once again. Uh, curses, relics, flying units, they're all over the place. Upsat's there. Um, it's upsat. You know, sometimes upsat can come down early thanks to, like, curving out with 
Merchant, and that can really end some games. Um, against Aggro, we've got Moonstone Vanguard. Um, it's actually pretty decent against Control as well, just giving us a solid threat that gives us card advantage. And speaking of solid threats that give us card advantage, we also have Tuvon. Um, there's really not that many options. Uh, there aren't really many transform options, so I just filled my market with Beef and Relicate. Uh, that's where my head was at, that's what I went with, and uh, it worked out well for me. Um, power base is nothing too crazy going on here. Um, playing just enough Primal so that we can, you know, still cast some of our annoying cards, like two Primal, two Primal, two Primal, two Primal. Um, so we have to have, we can't just go all in on time like we'd like to. We have to make sure we still have enough sigils so we can get them with Expand the Reach. We want as many symbols as possible, um, just to guarantee that we have this two Primal. Because otherwise these cards will just sit in your hand and you can't do anything. So that's the deck. Pretty straightforward. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll see you around.